Hey, I'm Jay from SoulShift.com. We're here at the livestock location here in downtown Toronto. Here for the Spike and Mike's joint uh, for 40 Acres Apparel's um, pop-up shop. I got the living legend himself, Spike Lee. What's up, baby? How you doing? Welcome good, to good. Toronto. Glad to be here. Glad cool, to be cool, here. Cool. If you could, you know, past or present, put a starting five down. Not necessarily Nick specific, but all-time NBA players, past or present, starting five, who would it be? Kareem would be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar okay. from Palm Memorial High School. Manhattan, sure. he'd be my center. Michael would be up in there. Magic. That'd be your backcourt. Car forward swing. Mm. John Starks is not making it. <laughs> <laughs> I got love for John too. We're talking about the the greatest of all time. Uh, mm. Those those four those two four spots are very very. Uh, Bird has to be in there. Okay. Who's completing the four? At the four. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, no, man, there's a good case you could say Dirk Nowinski. Dirk, he, okay. He, he's wow. definitely going to be first ballot Hall of Fame. But there's there's so many. I mean, if you talk to a lot of the cats who played the game <coughs> earlier generation, they say Oscar Roberts is the greatest player ever. Right, right. They say, I mean, and, 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 they're, and they're adamant about it. They say that Oscar's the greatest player I've ever seen. So it really depends on the era. Moving towards uh, footwear, uh, can you like briefly talk about how how the Spizx came out? Your design shoe. Um, well, you know uh, I had a relationship with, with Nike, and, right? You know, Michael and I would tell Nike, you know, I like to have a sneaker, and they said, "Well, we really don't. You have to be an athlete to have a sneaker." And finally, they succumbed. And so what we did was we looked at all the commercials. Right. We looked at all the shoes connected to commercials. That you say you did? Yeah. Right. And we took out the distinctive uh, features. Features of those specific right. Jordans and put them together. Right. Those if are I, the specs. Right. If I'm not mistaken, it was like the threes, fours, five, I, I, six, I, I, I just. You're just like. Man, it, <laughs> and I'm terrible at Roman numerals, so, so yeah. I don't know. I just go by the look. I can't. I can't connect. This is the look, by the way, right here. Yeah, this, this is the first special, one. Special New York, New York Knicks color. No, this wasn't the first one, though. No. But this red one. And green this were the this first one. one. Yeah. No, the red, black, and green was the first. I think. White, red, and green were the, yeah. were the first. I think. Okay. Either way. Either way. But this specific edition, we had what we call the Nick version. So yeah. one was the Nick orange, one was the Nick blue. Right. Right. Yeah, right. the, the, I think the, the blue came in a blue suede. Uh, really nice color, similar to, to what you're supposed to yeah, for sure. Nick blue. Yeah. For sure. Um, and my son has a sneaker too. Son of Mars? Son of Mars. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I've just been blessed. Uh, when I when I uh, wrote the script that she's going to have it, Right. you know, I... I had Mars wearing Jordans. Mars of Ackman, for sure. You had to wear Jordans. And uh, two gentlemen, Jim Rizwell and Bill Davenport, called me. They worked for Wyden Kennedy, right. Nike's agency. And after they, they said, we want to want to use Mars. You play Mars. You direct commercials. You black and white. Mm -hmm. And I want to you know, do what Michael Jordan said. Yeah. He said, there's one catch. Phil Knight was, has okayed it. You yeah. know, we, we okayed it, we still have to speak to Michael. Right. At that time, Michael did not, he did not know who I was, Adam, and not see the film. So I had to go to him. So for some reason, Mike said, okay. Because he could easily have gone to some big shot, Madison Avenue, commercial director. Right. Because this is his first deal, so you know, it's kind of a risk. Yeah. Giving somebody, a shot like this, I never asked Michael why why he chose me, but um, I'm glad he did. Yeah. And, and even more important than that, we've had a beautiful friendship since then. 
since then, which is for me way more important than the, than the you know the sneakers. He's he's a beautiful cat. I know people you know try to get at him, but Michael, I know beautiful cat. Thanks. Good to hear. You. Very That's loyal and, and caring, loving person. That's my guy. Born in Brooklyn. <laughs> Is there a shoe, a, a basketball shoe, mind you, that you know you always wanted as a kid, never had? Or... Oh, growing up. Come on, can you, can, my man? Can you pan over here a little bit? <laughs> we have all this shit <laughs> growing up. <laughs> you had Converse. The colors were black and white, low top or high top. You had, you know, then you had the, the skippies and the other stuff, but no, you couldn't, you didn't want to wear those outside. Right, right, right. You, you did not want to wear, we used to call them MOs. You know what right. MO is? No, it doesn't. Imitations. <laughs> <laughs> you did not want to come on my block wearing imitations. <laughs> you get called out real quick. Ah, uh, you had to go back inside. So you weren't really. Hip till you had your first pair of Converse. Okay. And back then it cost five dollars. And that was a lot of money. I mean, you had to really beg your parents to spend five dollars for a pair of sneakers. Again, they were, we call them cons. We didn't call them right. chucks, we call them also cons. High top, low top, black and white. In fact, we used to say this. If your sneakers slip and slide, get the ones that start on the side. Ask your moms, yeah. empty your purse. They get to the ones that say, Converse. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't know nothing about that. <laughs> you ain't heard that. That's, 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 that's not, that's, I didn't make that up. That's just like, that's from way, way back. Wow. Out of the full line of J's that are out, do you have a favorite model and colorway? Favorite well, pair of J's? I mean, I, I knew I have love for Spizikes. Yeah. But for sure. I, I, I love the ones we introduced. He got game. Is that the 14s? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, 13s. 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 Yeah. In fact, people call them the He Got Games. Yep. For sure. Worn by Denzel. Yep. And uh, the Concords. Okay. Black and white 11s. Yeah, for sure. Can't go. Those, wrong with those, that. those are, are my. Uh, you know, I, I, re I really, the really. If if you put all the stuff on the wall, the stuff. I like the most of the ones done by Tinker Hatfield. Okay. The greatest sneaker designer ever. Yes. Tinker Hatfield. Shout out to Tinker for sure. Thank you for your time, Spike. Okay, thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. sharing. Cool. Thank you for everyone tuning in. This is Jay from Soul Shift with legendary Spike Lee. Peace. Peace.